Just another manic Monday. Whoa, whoa. Wish it were a Sunday. Cause that's my fun day. Just another manic Monday. <clears throat> well, so I didn't really cover much of Chantel's BS this weekend. Um, but she's already trying to rewrite history, you guys. She's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sick. So sick. I really, I can't, I can't do anything. I, I'm not functional whatsoever. I came to an entirely different country where I could be doing all these fun things. But, um, I'm so sick. I'm going to stay in my Petri dish of a room and say that I can't do anything unless Saul is here. And he's not coming. And we all know he's not coming. She knows he's not coming. And she's trying to rewrite history. We saw your videos on Friday, Chantel. We saw the vlogs that you put up where you were not mouth breathing. You were not struggling with breathing. You didn't struggle during the haul. When you were showing all of your wares. You seemed to have enough energy to go through a shining like experience of going up and down the stairs and down several halls looking for a bathroom. Because I'm sure movie theaters don't have bathrooms on every few theaters. You know, because like nobody walks out of a theater with a full bladder after they've watched a movie. <laughs> Dude, this chick, I can't. We'll be right back. I'm gonna be quiet because it's what? Your room? <laughs> I can't. What was all that clinking? What was all that clinking noises going on over there? I just got a lasagna. <laughs> Small, but... And I have a vitamin C drink. Hello? Is she wearing the same thing as what she wore in the vlog? Or does she just, like, buy multiples that are very similarly designed? Um, and by the way, girls, stop eating on your side like that. You're going to choke on screen, and it's going to be unfortunate for all of us. That's, uh, you have a table. You've eaten at the table. Knock it off. You're a grown-ass woman. Holy shit. Oh, I'm too sick, Mom. I can't go to school today. I just need to stay home and watch Sesame Street and the electric company. I can't, I can't do it. Oh. It's just a bolognese lasagna. This is not? Whoa, lasagna. I haven't had lasagna in a long time. <laughs> Here it is. Two Quite literally just had um, st raviolis yesterday. Right? Ordered from the same restaurant. That's why I'm asking, are you wearing the same thing? Like, did you actually film um, the other one near the same time? Was that a live stream too? I guess it was, right? Um, oh God, I'd get, I couldn't do Italian two days in a row. That'd be too much. 44 p.m. I feel like I want to just, I don't know. Look. Cheesy lasagna. Beauty, bye. Yeah, th this is seriously something that... This is absolutely the menu of a sick person. I, I get you, Chantel. Mm. <laughs> so what do you think about my new skincare? I think some of the red is going away. You think so? You bought it on Friday, right? You bought it on Friday. You look red as fuck. No, <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> I think it's looking a bit more improved. I've been using it religiously. 
Mm-hmm. That looks good, but small. I know. They have small portions of. I got I got the ravioli from this place. They have like small, normal portions, but they're like their pasta is so good. So I'm like addicted now to their pasta. And I just like. I, I don't care about your pasta. The the fact is, you have internal health problems that are manifesting into skin, right? So we can see it through your skin at this point. You're not going to be able to resolve that with um, topical beauty products. And you don't regularly take your medicine that you're supposed to be taking, right? can't bring myself to order like two portions. I don't look annoyed. Yes, I am wearing the black honey. The skincare and the black honey and some mascara is a little bit of eyeliner. So, yeah, I'm like super, super depressed. Because this cough, like my nose is fine now, right? The congestion, but the cough... Well, not go away. Especially when you pick the snot out of it like that, but okay. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> and it's actually causing me not to be able to do things. Like, I want to go out. How am I going to go out and walk around when I can't breathe? Just like you did on Friday. And you were out. And you had your mouth closed. You weren't mouth breathing. You weren't struggling. So I don't know what this rewriting of history is right here. (coughs) Uh I can't breathe. Wait, what did that say? You know? Yeah, I haven't really lost my voice, but... Listen. And I can't walk like... I know... Let me see if I can do that. I'm sure she practices this shit, you guys. <laughs> I'm sure she does. I went to the mall. And at some point, like, at the mall, I was okay at first. And then after the movie, walking to the clinic, I was like, like, I couldn't breathe. Like, I cannot breathe. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I mean, and you got a lot of footage of that Clinique booth. You were wandering around talking about how you uh, couldn't really communicate with the uh, the salesperson there because they only spoke Thai and you didn't want to pull out your um, phone and use Google Translate so that you could talk about what you wanted. But you sure bought a lot of products while you were there, so you spent a whole lot of time at a place where you say you were struggling to um, breathe, right? What were you like, asthma attack level? But you're standing around, wandering through all the beauty products, and you got video footage of it. Okay, girl. I don't know if it's worse than before, it's just like, it's annoying. It's like wheezy. So. Maybe I should go to that free and clinic. You like my vacation life schedule? <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> Maybe I should go. So, I don't know. Smoker scarf, you guys. Lasagna. Yeah, and I can hear people all over the hotel coughing. So there must have been something going around. Yeah, it's called Patient Zero, who was touching all the elevator buttons after uh, coughing into your hands and not washing your hands and coughing on people's food and touching everything. Um, I'm sure that there is an outbreak in your hotel right now. Like, when I, when I came to check in, there was somebody sneezing, and I'm just like, oh, no. I'm sure two weeks ago the person sneezing got you sick 
You know, it's it's like a five day incubation period, Chantel. Come on. That happens. Whatever. This is like such a good lasagna. It has like a bechamel. Actually, we're on week three now. So if she's talking about checking in at the hotel, somebody was sneezing, that would have been like nearly three weeks ago. If it's viral, I just have to wait for it to clear up. They don't have the Western medicines we have. Yes, I went do. and looked for <laughs> Melly, whatever you called it, Diff something. They don't have it. They didn't have it at the 7-Eleven one. You can't go to 7-Eleven for everything, girl. Come on. What are you thinking? There's a pharmacy there, too. It's like right across the street from the 7-Eleven. And I believe there's an actual clinic, like, right next to the hotel, too. Like, why do you keep trying to, like, you you lie to your audience so much. It's really sad. I got a cough medicine that they did have, but it doesn't do much. So, yeah, I'm just depressed because... Yeah, oh, that's okay. I know it's late. I really want to go to the night market, but... How enjoyable will that be? It's, you know, humid, too. So I'll be walking around wheezing and, like... Like... No. Dude, you do that on your best days. Knock it off. At least I got to do everything, like, a lot of things that Bangkok offers. Last trip, I guess, but... But I'm scared to go alone. So, I'm waiting, right? Yeah, it is a really good lasagna. I love the pasta here. It's a bit expensive, but... Whatever. That's because it's not supposed to be it's it's not native to thailand so why do you keep ordering pasta what are you doing you shouldn't be eating so much cheese if you really are sick because that increases mucus production and you shouldn't be eating such heavy carbs like that you should be having like broth and salads and light things, you know, maybe some toast, wheat toast. He's not here yet. Anxiety is going on. Yeah, I just have like, I don't know. I wanna go out, but I feel like I'm like trapped. Like if you thought I was breathing bad before walking around, now it's like almost impossible. Even just like going to the bathroom, I dread. Everything is taking a bit longer than we thought. So, it's okay. Yeah, I feel trapped because my um, breathing is bad because I'm sick, you know? Your breathing would be better if you actually got out and walked around because exercise helps. You can't just lie like a lump and expect that your body is going to repair problems. Excuse me, so I'm just trying to take care of myself. It's hard. It's tough. <coughs> mm -hmm. Maybe tomorrow morning early I'll go check out that clinic and see. Love you too, teardrop. I think it's just getting over like whatever this virus is that's going around here. It's a, like just horrible. Yeah, there's a lot of people who love solo travel, but Maybe I should use that spot corrector here. Dark spots corrector? Because I have weird pigmentation here. Yeah. I'm going to go home. My ticket is, you know, I have a return date for the ticket. So mm -hmm. it won't be uh, too bad. Hopefully I'll get... Except that you just told us you're going to extend the trip by two weeks, so... I guess that doesn't really matter. And you also told us at the beginning of the trip that you can stay for up to 60 days. Better in the next few days. I haven't been sick that long. Think about it. It's been, what, three days? <coughs> three, four days since... No. 
yesterday was Sunday, you said that you started feeling it a week ago Sunday. So the Sunday before that, that you started feeling it. You were offline Saturday and Sunday. You didn't produce any live streams or vlogs. And then you came back with this lame ass, uh, I'm so sick, woe is me. And uh, played that out through the entire week. So again, trying to rewrite history. I've been really sick. Brush your teeth. I did brush them this morning. I don't know. I don't want to cook on a holiday. Like go get ingredients at the grocery store. No, no. And cook in the hotel. No, no, no. I don't think so. I think I'm just going to order lasagnas. <laughs> oh, no, Serenity, you better arrest me. Yeah, I thought I was like 100% better. Not 100%, but a lot better. But like, I'm not congested like I was, so... How long do you have left there? I can't say. Because of psychotic people, I unfortunately can't tell you normal things. Have you ever seen... Nobody cares. Give me a break. Nobody cares. Who do you think's in Thailand right now, that, or even Kuwait, that is going to hang out at these airports hoping they can get paparazzi pictures of you? You really place a much higher value on your internet fame or infamy, I should say, than you actually have. I mean, I would think it'd be pretty rare for you to run into anybody who knows who the hell you are. In the old bots who are on Twitter, they're insane. Apparently they, they do the most vile things. I'm gonna protect my privacy, thank you. Like, I don't know how people are surprised that I don't tell you where I'm going, when I'm going, how long I'm going for, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, when I have the most insane stalkers on the internet, so I think I'll just keep all that. I don't know. I got some pretty insane stalkers on the internet, and I basically just block them and report them. Um, it does obviously YouTube doesn't care. They just let them have their their field day with all this bullshit. But um, I have definitely reported the people who have harassed me online like that. Um, and uh, challenged my personal information, etc. Um, but, like, you can't live your life being afraid of the people on the internet. Especially if that's how you make your money. Myself, no offense. <laughs> like, I enjoyed them all because I was so tired uh, yeah, they are weird, Miss Fortune. They're extremely weird. She's one of them. Never tell people where you are, yeah. Or my visa status. Why would I tell people that? Or show anything, like marriage certificate? Like, no, you're not getting any of that information anymore, people. Well, you're the one who's making it weird, okay? So, that's why people have questions. You're the one who's making it weird because you have to travel every three to four months, depending on if you get a 30-day extension. And um, you said it's a loophole marriage. And it's just a very bizarre arrangement. So if you, I guess, communicated a little more effectively to the point where you weren't divulging all of this weird-ass shit that ri you know, raises questions, you wouldn't be constantly asked these questions i've never seen people obsessed with someone like people are on youtube right i know i'm a wreck tonight i don't think these people understand how crazy they are like it's weird it's like embarrassing i don't get it either georgie like it's weird yeah i don't want anything to do with that no i'm not mad if he could be here chazelle he would be i know it has nothing to do with his visa he can easily come to thailand like last time <laughs> things happen in life things that you just don't know well, uh, then I guess he doesn't want to be there. Because there is no work emergency that takes, especially for a perfume company, that would take you off of a one-month trip to Thailand. That That's a ridiculous excuse. People just need to accept that. He has reasons. We have reasons mm -hmm. why we're in this situation. So... It's none of your business, misfortune. That's what the answer is. None of your business. 
<coughs> he would be if he could be here. No. Well, since he's not going on the trip, and you're going to be there for at least two to three more weeks, he should get Julia Spade. And get that one knocked out of the, you know, get her, get, get the vaccinations, get the skin treatment that she needs, and get her spayed. Why not get that tackled while you're out of town so you don't have to deal with the Cohen of shame? And it can be, or is it just that he, in his own way, is just as lazy as you? Is that the problem here? Obviously. Or no, nah, whatever your name is. Suspicious all you want. No one cares. Yes, planes cost money. But I don't have to leave all the time. What are you talking about? I haven't left Kuwait in like six months. Don't tell people your private business. Exactly, yeah. No, you uh, arrived on my birthday, April 25th, and then you left on August 25th. That is four months. That's the three months you were allowed to be there and a 30-day extension. Stop lying to your audience. Yes. Yes. Why can't everyone just shut up your husband exactly? Go ahead, Rain. No one cares. There's no quarantine laws right now. Nobody's going to give a shit. People are probably so sick of you people. There are still quarantine laws in place. You should probably check what uh, they require in Thailand. Reporting the dumbest things. Yeah, hello, I'd like to report a person for doing absolutely nothing. Illegal. <coughs> yeah, maybe I'll go tomorrow to a doctor. <clears throat> your business is your business, yes. Some people only ask questions of private business to use it against you later. Exactly, exactly. like I'm not dumb, like, <laughs> you know, unfortunately. For the type of attention I get online and the type of, you know, haters I have, I just find keeping, even if I don't divulge information, they literally like look up flights, they look up everything. They just, like, they, they go real life to the max. Like, it's just insane. So, good for you if you find information, but I'm not going to give it to you willingly. So, no salty egg mochi. I, I'm actually really sick of it. Like, last time I ate it, it was, like, stretchy. I don't know. Hang on. I got a military thing hanging out over me. I think I'm under a flight path. Because Camp Pendleton's down... Um, in San Diego and uh, there's not much left in Orange County per se but I think there might still be some stuff in Long Beach doing you nobody is ever ever gonna get me down especially not idiots on in Gore World what happened <laughs> big Korean I can only do the scale when I can walk down the street without dying of wheezing has that Oh, really? You don't walk over to that 7-Eleven all the time? You could step on that scale. It doesn't take any energy to step on a scale, Chantel. Elevator ride would do. Every elevator is different. That's the problem. So it depends on the elevator. Married life is wonderful. How is cough medicine going to affect your lungs when it goes in your tummy? Do you ever wonder that? Maybe, maybe. You are so daft. I, I can't. Do I really need to explain that any medicine that you take is absorbed into your bloodstream? Oh my god, you are so goddamn dumb. I can't. I need antibiotics, maybe. I feel like it's just, I don't know, you know, needs to do. I'm just impatient. Like, I want to be like fully better. Tiger balm, yeah, I know. It's just like another medicated balm, but it apparently works good. I have a really good one from the pharmacy in Kuwait. <clears throat> I had to wear it today. I could go for a friggin' mocha right now. No, the sciatica didn't bother. 40 year old woman doesn't know how to treat a cold, doesn't know how cough medicine works. Amazing that she got this far in life. I, I'm gonna have to agree with all the other channels that say she's the cockroach. It's amazing she's alive at this point. Bother me. Just the, my lungs, cinnamon tea, um, old well, people I know when I walk in here, it's like super cold and it smells like, like cream, like a medicated cream and the strawberry spray I always spray. I smell durian in the hall, so you're allowed to eat durian here because there's no sign. Yeah, I know I'm crazy. Wow, 
So there's other rude people in your hotel as well. That's nice. That's nice. You guys all are so thoughtful of the other people there on vacation. That you're spreading disease, eating stinky fruit. Um, what lovely people to be next to in the hotel. A hot cappuccino or something like a hot mocha. But they don't have sugar. They were really cute soaps. Yeah, they were cute soaps, eh? But the thing is, is like, I think they're just novelty soaps because um, I... <coughs> what was I talking about? Right. Chantel, those are the types of soaps that you would decorate your bathroom with. That would be there as decorative, not for use. And then you'd probably put like an uh, antibacterial soft soap by the actual sink. I forgot. See, whenever I read the comments, oh yeah, the soaps, they don't really do much. Like, they don't lather. Yeah, maybe I can just run to the cafe and get a coffee right now. My eyebrows are wild. It's like putting out potpourri. It's like um, lighting a candle. It's to have something that smells nice in your bathroom and looks pretty. That's why you would buy a soap like that. Untamed. But if I pluck them, I'm committing a sin. So as long as it was like a perfect portion, too. Because, like, I'm kind of full. I don't think I'll stay on long for today, for, for right now. Mm -hmm. But I'll probably go, out, go live later tonight. Is it scary going out alone? No. The lasagna was my breakfast. I have PTSD from threading, so I'm never getting threaded again. No, Chazelle, you may not. Melly, what's your picture? Is it the brownie? <laughs> that was a good brownie. I can't go anywhere when I can't breathe, so that's like, I have to wait till I'm better. Antibiotics will do nothing if it's viral. I don't even know what happened. Anyways. I love when you block right away. No, but they have, they have other things for that now. Like, for instance, um, years ago, they came out with um, a medicine for the flu that if you went in during your very early symptoms, it would help reduce the amount of time that you had it. But you just don't take care of yourself at all. And you, you don't even look into what sort of medicine is available to you. Sounds like COVID. Who knows? I'm just sick. And it sucks. That's like saying, um, well, since COVID is a virus, there's no way to treat it. Of course they've developed treatments for it at this point. I mean, she doesn't watch the news at all, you guys. She does not watch the news. Being inside sick. I hate it. Yeah, I hope I get better before I have to go home for sure. It won't be fun traveling, but I'll do it if I have to. I don't have a fever. Yeah, I just feel blah. I don't know if it's like, I don't know. I definitely realize I don't really want to travel the world by myself. It's like so boring. Yeah, the person at this clinic, they didn't speak any English whatsoever. So I don't feel like they really helped with like picking up products, but. <laughs> it's my brown, me and my brownie, babe. Babe, I'm sick. I want to cuddle with juice. <laughs> can never travel without my hubby. Yeah. I know. Poor babe. Yeah, I mean, you can just translate, but it's a pain in the ass, and I don't want to deal with it when I'm in the store. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you just say, I'm lazy, I'm lazy, I'm lazy, I'm lazy, I'm lazy, I'm lazy. I don't want to have to do anything, guys. Period. I don't want to have to look up information. I don't want to have to get informed. I don't want to have to um, leave my hotel room petri dish. I I don't want to get better at all. And I just want to eat really fattening foods, even if they're healthy portions right now. It's better portions than what you were doing. 
but we have no idea how many of those lasagnas you actually ordered. Um, I mean, you might have had a backup lasagna for all we know. I just want to lay and do nothing. And it depresses me. Yeah, I wish she was here. I hate being away from, like, maybe I should just never be away <laughs> from my family ever again. Yes, it is the worst. I would love to go to the night market. Super old temple. That I'm supposed to. The Sanctuary of Truth was super nice. I look so lonely in my room. <laughs> yeah, I am lonely. I am lonely. You have us here. Yes, I have you guys. Lonely and sick. Not a good combo. Anyway, I'll be alright. I'll survive. I should probably, like... Seems like your next visa run is going to be in uh, December. Just in time for Christmas, right? Go live around... Like, if I get up early in the morning and go live, that's probably a better time. And then I can start my day, but I don't know. Like I said, it's only the breathing that bothers me. Are you going back to Canada? No, Melanie. I got up at like 11 today. <laughs> I slept in. But I was, I needed it. Like, I was so tired. I see a lot of people, like, saying, like, I bet you he won't come. Like, what does it matter if he does or not anyways? Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> It only matters to you, girl. You're the one who says, I don't want to travel alone. I don't want to do anything alone. It only matters to you. You are going to make this vacation whatever for you. Right? This is your content. This is something that you said was going to be great. This season was going to be lit. It was going to be it. And it is shit. Let's be real. Oh, I don't know. People think they're onto something, but it's weird. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Melanie. No, yeah, he's supposed to. But, you know, things can happen, right? If I come or not come, what's the matter? And how does it affect your life? Yeah. I guess it will depend, right? Like, when, by the time he can come, if, how much time is left? If, like, I, I'm probably going to be over Thailand by that point and, like, just want to go home. But we'd probably have to, like, extend the vacation. Is it worth doing? Yeah. Why are you going to spend all that money on a plane ticket for him to only come out for a couple of weeks? He's not going to come. I don't know. I really hate being away from Salah, but also my animals. Like, I don't know. I know they're taken care of, but... Uh-huh. It's the emo it's the bonding I have with Juice and Howie. Anyways, that was my lunch. Lasagna. It was like the size of a Stouffer's lasagna. Those are really good, actually. They're not bad. Camping season is coming up. I think October, November. What, which day can you start camping, babe? November? Like, which month? Are you going to be a team player this time? Or are you going to say you had a migraine and go sleep in the tent? Are you going to steal all the water from the kids? Are you going to be a bitch again? The gym in my complex is not good for me, that's why. Calculating the calories of that lasagna. <laughs> yeah, I don't care what they are. Yeah, I wish I could enjoy autumn too, it's my favorite. If I felt <coughs> like better, I would be going to the night market. So everything I have planned will have to wait until I can breathe. I just want to sleep until I don't... I don't know, imagine I caught it again from going out. <laughs> yeah, I felt better at the mall, I don't know why. I was waiting to go to Chinatown for Salah, so... So fucking boring, sorry. So freaking boring. Stop waiting. Just go out and do stuff. Get out there and do stuff. Chinatown sounds lovely, you can go get some egg drop soup. Be good for your throat if there's something actually wrong with you. No, I didn't see anyone in Thailand making videos to me. Her name is Truth Hurts, of course. There's so many people who know nothing about my life offering truth. What truth? That I'm fat and I overeat? I know that already. She's only on Twitter. Oh, then I don't give a shit at all. Or I can do whatever I want. How about that you're mean? And that you treat the people around you with such disrespect. Have you taken in that feedback? 
I don't have a Twitter, so all these people talking to themselves. Sometimes people send me something, but it's not not often anymore. Like, oh, I thought you didn't have Twitter. Like, people can send me things. Did that never occur to you? <laughs> it's a rat hole. It's a shit hole. You know? Moon cakes, what's inside? So did you get the care package? Is that what you're alluding to here? Because it seems like a lot of the items that you started receiving towards the end of the week matched up with the description of the care package. Yeah, I think it's like going to be uh, a Thai festival. Who was that? Did you hear that? To clean up this mess. Anxiety sucks. Yeah, there's always people. Babe, it's like me with my anxiety when I say I have anxiety. It's just like a mental health condition. You get anxiety. Here's someone else coughing. Girl world politics are granny age losers versus middle age losers fighting over who hates foodie more. I love that for you guys. That you hate me, you don't even know. Nobody hates you. We feel sorry for you. You know, whether you screw yourself up completely is on you. We're here to watch the train wreck. But in regards to hating you, no. In fact, I think a lot of us would like to see you turn it around. Like, you don't even, you hate someone on the internet that you don't, don't even know in real life. That's sad. Mm -hmm. That's really sad. Worrying about what? Everything. Just like con being in a constant state of worry. It's annoying. Ah. <sighs> It is harder to travel alone with anxiety, for sure. <coughs> I don't know, B. That's why they're haters. They just hate things. <laughs> yeah, therapy gives me anxiety, too. That's true. I want to go get my nose blower. <laughs> What's a nose? Frig! My new charger? Or my What's a nose blower? I've never heard of this device before. Gosh, my phone charges in like a half an hour max. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, the little Kleenex box is empty, I think. I need to get them to refill it. I need to clean all this. I just want to lay in bed and watch movies all day. I have lasagna heartburn. Why did I eat that? Wake me up when September ends. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. It's an abaya. I miss my abayas. I miss my Islamic stuff. <laughs> Why am I a downer? Focus on your breathing, get moving, keep a diary, challenge your thoughts, but I'm in nature. Dude, you're always a downer, let's be real. Um, you haven't done anything fun like dancing or, you know, going out and rolling down a hill or, you know, kicking the soccer ball into the goal. That, that was pretty cool. Um, you haven't done anything like that in ages at this point um and so you're basically like i'm really old now and i'm going to become bed bound and wheelchair bound pretty soon right <laughs> it's a lot of therapists that's easier said than done yeah <laughs> lasagna betrayed me i'm not going to get the hat over there but yeah my skin at least hydrated it's still a bit red yeah, mental illness is so complicated, babe. It might be CPAP irritation. I don't know. In Kuwait, I bought the misfortune. They have like a ton of abaya shops. Like a ton. Yeah, that's like, like, that's my problem too. Like with mental health issues, like I like to be alone, you know, and just like chill out and seal or do whatever. But like, yeah, you like to live stream for up to five hours. <laughs> <laughs> that's a real sign of uh, somebody who uh, is experiencing anxiety and depression is let me get online and make as much money as possible talking to my hug box <laughs> okay be alone so while I am lonely like I do also like to be alone sometimes just cause like everything becomes overstimulating you know and I just want like peace a sensory issue, yeah. Like, you just... Oh, I don't know. 
I never know that there's something called anxiety. <laughs> yeah. Like, my anxiety was pretty high at the mall, but I just, like, I fought it and fought it and fought it. But I'm like, why am I doing this? Because, like, otherwise I wouldn't live life. Like, I would just do nothing. But, like, that's what I, I really, like, really, I don't know. But then I get tired of doing nothing, too. Like, right now, like, I wish I was, <clears throat> you know, well enough to go to the the markets and things. But I'm at rest. My breathing is fine. You know, alhamdulillah. It's just walking around right now is hard. Yeah. I just want to be at home with, with my pets and my husband. That's why I think it's like Salah's trying to understand it. <laughs> yeah, I find weed, like, I find weed, like, makes me, like, late, like, for sure, depends on the, the stage of your life, but for sure more paranoid, anxious, tired, unmotivated. What kind of books do you like to read? I really was looking at a new, I want to read some... Yeah, I know. We could tell from your live stream the other night when you were seemed like really chill and, you know, slurring your words and stuff. And then you said, I think I hear people in the hall. It was, I don't know, like one thirty two in the morning your time. Um, don't you think maybe the other tourists are out doing fun things? like going to clubs and stuff and they might be coming back a little bit later than you i want to catch up on the stephen king novels my refrigerator has water in it only yeah water one more vi vitamin c drink <laughs> hmm. i think i'm gonna go for a nap i'm tired <laughs> some depression some depression is situational like you can get out of it some is more it's a yeah, chemical imbalance so you need medication, babe. Like moi. Yay. I just love it. But they don't ever test for imbalances, but they would test for they would test the level of maybe dopamines or something. I don't I think this is the first that we're hearing that Salah is depressed. I mean, she kind of made mention of it on a different live stream as well. Oh, he's depressed too. Sorry to out you, right? And now she's saying he needs to potentially be on medication for his depression. <sighs> I don't know what to say about that, but you might want to look into your life choices, buddy. <laughs> like, um, are you happy with your life right now? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> miserable. I hate being sick. I'm crabby. So... I think I'm gonna get off for now. I may be back later. Bye. Thanks for being here. Have a good day. Bye, everybody. Bye. Well, thank you, Looney Tubes, for capturing the content. And um, I will, uh, of course, tag you and provide the link to the original video. So, for those of you watching my video, please make sure that you like the original content creators video the looney tubes and subscribe to their channel um as well as if you liked my commentary please like my video and subscribe to my channel thank you so much and have a happy manic monday